Pat Riley set the standard, but Coach Spo improved on it. Mm. And you, you really see his DNA inside the organization and now. It's not just Pat Riley's show. Right. It's Eric Spostra. We all know about Coach Spo. From winning back-to-back -back championships with the Miami Heat a few years after his coaching debut, to assembling one of the strongest teams in the NBA year after year. Eric Spolstra, also known as Coach Spo, broke basketball with the Heat over the years. Hello and welcome back to NBA Swish. Today we're going to be talking about how Coach Spo broke basketball. What was his story about coaching in the NBA? And most importantly, how did he break basketball? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more, as we delve into the intricacies surrounding one of the most respected coaches in the NBA. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before discussing how he broke basketball, let me introduce you to the man. Eric Spolstra was born to a Dutch-Irish father, John, and a Filipina mother, Elisa. His upbringing in Portland, Oregon, was surrounded by basketball due to his father's position as the Portland Trailblazers general manager manager and marketing director. So you can bet he already had a lot of exposure to basketball at a very young age. He understood how his father undertook player dealings. This influence was crucial for him as he developed into one of the finest coaches in the league. However, before he became a coach, he also played basketball. He had aspirations of becoming a professional player at first. He played his heart out, but it became evident to the coach himself that he might not be more gifted than the other players might be. So he would not rise to superstardom, even if he managed to get drafted drafted to the league. But he didn't give up and went on to play for the University of Portland, where he started as a freshman and was named WCC Freshman of the Year. He was talented, no doubt. After a stellar basketball career at the University of Portland, he graduated and moved to Germany to play for the TSV Bayer 04 Leverkusen team. Some might say this was a huge decision, but it came after he was left undrafted when he declared himself for the league. And honestly, his decision to move to Germany was a good one. For starters, he took a coaching job for the team's youngsters, which helped him learn the dynamics of coaching firsthand. And moreover, while serving as the team's point guard on the court, he also served as a lead assistant, studying plays on the side. While it might have been an unusual assignment, especially given that the players he coached were 12-year-olds who spoke no English, the fact that it was a challenging task, adding to his already hectic player career with the club, sparked his interest in coaching, flexibility, and most importantly, hard work, which was something that stuck with him forever. After returning to the United States, Spolstra took advantage of a chance that would alter the course of his career. He got a role as the Miami Heat's video coordinator in 1995. It was a critical stage in his path as he immersed himself in professional coaching. You must be thinking, but this differs from the head coach role. How did he become Coach Spo? Well, hold your horses, people. We are slowly getting there. After joining the Heat, Spo quickly rose through the ranks as he developed his skills and deepened his understanding of the game. He progressed from being a video coordinator to becoming an assistant coach. But that was not all, as he continued to excel in his next position as an advanced scout. He wrote extensive papers on coaching techniques, focusing on pick and roll defense in particular, demonstrating his analytical skill and passion for the trade. This time in his career showed that he had a deep knowledge and understanding of the game and paved the way for his future success as a head coach. Speaking of which, Pat Riley saw his potential and appointed Spo as head coach in 2008. This was a big decision as the team was going through a transitionary period. Him giving the role to Spo showed his confidence in the rookie coach. There were better situations for Spo, who was under enormous pressure as he assumed the post. He was following in the footsteps of Pat Riley, the legendary coach who had previously led the Heat to a championship. Now, those are big shoes to fill. But Coach Spo wasn't one to get rattled easily. Regardless of the obstacles, he embraced the chance with unyielding dedication and a great work ethic. In fact, during his first few years as head coach, he was dedicated to instilling a culture of hard work, discipline, and teamwork. These characteristics would become defining characteristics of his coaching philosophy, guiding the squad to exceptional success in the years to come. He instilled the Kobe Bryant Mamba mentality into the whole team, and it reaped dividends for him, as you will learn in the remainder of this video. And then after a few years, the Heat and Spo decided to go big and traded for LeBron James, who was billed as the next big thing in basketball after Jordan and Dwayne Wade, who was already killing it for the Heat and Chris Bosh. Together, they made the big three. They became what they called the super team of the league, the Heatles. You must be thinking Spo was quite lucky to end up with this team. But on the contrary, however, it's quite the opposite. Such big players result in spending vast amounts of money 
money. Thus, the demands and expectations also rise. You have to deliver a championship or it's considered a failure. Therefore, a lot of pressure is on the coach. However, they did it perfectly. And it was more than just making sure they were successful. The task was enormous. Balancing these guys' extraordinary talent, egos, and expectations was challenging to say the least. It's no wonder the Big Three era began with a difficult start, with losses and skepticism about Spolstra's coaching acumen. But guess what? He remained with his beliefs and continued to train the team his way. He recognized that developing chemistry and trust would take time. The superstar trio began to notice his dedication to hard effort and preparedness. Slowly but steadily, the Heat started to build a dangerous force, distinguished by unselfish play and a rigorous work ethic. Despite the big egos, everyone had to work hard. As a result, under Spoh's leadership, the Miami Heat advanced to the NBA Finals in consecutive years, eventually winning titles in 2012 and 2013. These championships verified Spoh's coaching abilities and established him as one of the league's top coaches. However, after three successful years, LeBron James left the Miami Heat. They still had Wade and Bosh, but LeBron mostly spearheaded the team towards these back-to-back -back championships. Coach Spoh faced yet another watershed moment in his coaching career. After a generational star left, he had to adapt and redefine the team's identity. Well, you should all know how good of a coach he really is. Under his leadership, the Heat successfully transitioned into the post-LeBron era. Spo welcomed players like Jimmy Butler, whose ferocious competitiveness echoed the mentality of the Heat. He instilled in his squad the same core values of hard work, selflessness, and unwavering effort that had served as the cornerstone of their success. We've all seen how Jimmy Butler was instrumental for the Heat in the 2023 championship run. Even though they finished runners-up, Spoh's hard work mentality was seen by the fact that they did it with a comparatively weak squad on paper. Yet, the hard work paid off big time. In the end, I'd like to talk about his legacy. Honestly, it goes far beyond his victories and championships. He's an outstanding coach and a source of inspiration and influence in the basketball community. His ideas extend beyond the court, focusing on how athletics can be used to empower and inspire people. He didn't break basketball through his championships, but did it thanks to his hustle mentality gameplay. It's not only practical, but timeless too, and will always work no matter what era. No wonder he's been the Miami head coach for over a decade. His life legacy will continue to inspire future generations of basketball fans and coaches, reminding them that anything is possible with steadfast commitment and a genuine enthusiasm for the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.